So it's been months since the devastating magnitude 7.2 earthquake rocked the southwestern part of Haiti. That was August 14 last year, causing widespread devastation. As a result, Sterling Asset Management has stepped up and is encouraging its stakeholders to donate to the food for the poor in the spirit of giving back and helping others. Here to speak with us is Vice President of Sales and Marketing at Sterling, um, Tony Ann Nita Elliott. Good morning, Tony Ann. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. It's morning time. Happy New Year. Hi, Happy New Year, and thank you for having me, Neville. Um, it's our pleasure. I kind of said why you got involved, but let me hear it from you. Why did you guys, um, what, what threw it off in the head to say, no, 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 we need to do something about that? All right, well, yes, thank you, Neville. Well, Sterling Asset Management is in its 20th year of business. Uh, we started our celebration last year, April, and it will continue into the first quarter of this year. And we have always taken our corporate social responsibility very seriously, supporting numerous organizations and initiatives, particularly in the area of education and social intervention. Um, but this being a, a milestone year and coming off of a record financial year for us, our best in the history of the company, we, in deciding that we wanted to continue to give back, we wanted to do it even bigger this year. So this initiative for Haiti to raise funds for Haiti is just one of many initiatives and causes that we have had during the year this year. Yeah, you approach Food for the Poor, they approached you? Uh, no, we actually approached Food for the Poor. So they are one of the, ma the major organizations who are doing great work on the ground. Uh, initially, we were actually thinking of doing donations in kind, but when we approached Food for the Poor, they actually expressed that the prefer cash donations for many reasons. Um, with the pandemic, I think there's a lot of shipping issues that are taking place. And with cash donations, they can be more uh, focused in terms of what it is that they actually use the funds for. Because I was reading an article and um, sometimes with donations in kind, things can go to waste. I think it said something up to 60% of things can go to waste. And I see where a country, I think it was Germany, shipped um, frisbees to Haiti. So, you know, you might think that you're sending something useful and then it ends up not being useful. Um, I saw another country had sent breast milk to Haiti and then that ended up spoiling. So with Food for the Poor and the cash donations, they can actually decide exactly what the, the imminent needs are and allocate the funds more specifically. Sterling would have anything to do with that, where the money goes, what it goes there for. Um, I've read that you wanted to raise 2,000 US by the end of the month. And you mentioned earlier, or we just know, that things didn't end up where um, it should have gone. But mm -hmm. does that happen with cash also? Uh, it, it could, but that's why it's important to work with a reputable organization like Food for the Poor. So there's Food for the Poor has an arm as well in Haiti. So Food for the Poor Jamaica works closely with them and they can ensure that as I said, the funds go directly to what is needed. So, you know, there are many people there, they're without access to food, they're without access to clean water. And the clean water is very important because they're just coming off of, um, you know, finally getting a handle on their cholera epidemic. And so, you know, access to clean water is important. Um, there's still people without shelter or access to hygiene products, sanitary products. Uh, many of the hospitals were destroyed, the schools were destroyed. So there is, you know, definitely a need there, but the needs change. And by working with Food for the Poor, as I said, they can be very targeted. Oh, it, was so yeah. it was interesting. It was interesting. Yesterday on our station, I was watching this documentary um, that came out of the huge earthquake. That was 2010, I think it was. And they lost so yeah. much artwork. And someone went and found um, the artwork. Some, they had uh, like a tear right down the middle, outstanding artist, and they put it together. Uh, I hope you get to see that. I was I was impressed. Um, I actually called a, a, a lady here who's in charge and asked her if I could show that on the station that only shows sport. It was interesting. Um, so you're just talking about money here. You just want people to give you money, not shirts and not food, just money we're talking about. No, yes, as I said, so we're going to be doing cash donations. So we have a donation page. It's a dedicated, secure page that people can go to. They can log into the page. It's foodforthepoorja.org forward slash sterling. And you can use your credit card and then you can donate any amount. You know, we're accepting any amount. We appreciate any amount. As they say in Jamaica, every mickle makes a muckle. So, um, and, and uh, the target is small, I think. It's, you know, compared to what the needs really are. 
but we were trying to be mindful of the fact that you're coming off of the holiday season where a lot of people had expenses and you know you know the joke that they always say january is the longest month in the calendar year because the, the time between payday seems to take so long and it does take very long so we were mindful of that so we by using our credit card you know you don't have to have ready cash we're not um, stipulating the amount that you need to donate and by doing this method too it, it doesn't restrict who can donate you know so people who are overseas can also donate and that was the beauty of it because when we've done in-kind drives in the past with our clients you know many of them overseas expressed that they really wish that they could have you know participated in it but because of logistics they couldn't so by doing the cash donations you ensure that everybody can participate and we're extending it not just to our clients but you know anybody who wants to help yeah. and alternatively if you don't have access to our credit card you could also um, send checks payable to food for the poor you could send those to our office we're located in new kingston at 40 knotsford boulevard um, again as i said the donation page is food for the poor ja.org forward slash sterling but if you not somewhere right now where you can write that down and you might not remember it the easiest way to find it would be to go to the newsroom of our website in the news section of, the, of our website and you'll find the information there you'll find the website link and you'll find a qr code that you can scan with a smartphone yep. and our website is sterling.com.jm or you can just google sterling asset management yeah you have already suggested uh, mrs nita elliott that you will take anything but is there an amount that you're trying to get here Yes, yeah, so as, as you, had, you had mentioned for us, we're trying to raise US 2000 by the end of January. And that's it after that, or would you still want to help after that? Or you just want $2,000? And, and you have done your part. Well, of course, we're, you know, we're overachievers, so we're hoping that we'll exceed that target. But as I said, we, we, you know, we started small because we're mindful of the time of year. Um, but we certainly want to explore other opportunities. But we have other things in the pipeline, and we've been doing a lot during the year. So we'll see where else um, we can help. And I suspect you wouldn't have a problem with other companies wanting to come on board uh, to help out you guys. Exactly, exactly. We just want to be the vehicle for that and we're extending it to anybody um, so they can contact us, um, as I said, and they can reach out and, and, and just help. You know, yeah. we're really, 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 really appreciative in advance of any help that yeah. we can. I'm not asking you how, how much money you've collected already, but you have collected some money already, I suspect. Yes, yes. So we just we started just uh, late December. So we're just a couple of weeks into it, maybe two weeks into it. So we have collected it. So we're close to, you know, uh, more than halfway to our target. So we just want that extra push to get us there. And as I said, we're hoping to, to exceed the target. Um, but yeah. we'll see how that goes. I suspect you call this corporate responsibility. Thank you. On behalf of the folks in Haiti, they certainly need everybody's help. Why? They can't take any more bad news now. Stay safe. Exactly. Stay safe. Say hi uh, to the rest of your company and tell them thanks also. God bless you. Happy New Year. All right. Thank you. Definitely. Thank then, you. Uh, Tony, thank I need you. to help Elliot, Vice President of Sales and Marketing at Sterling Asset Management. What's wrong with this picture? We find out in our fun stop when we come back. Stay with us, please.